This is an area that not many people had focused on, and it's just a gold mine. Finding an empty commercial single tenant building, standalone building, putting it under contract, and contacting tenants, telling them this is the property, here is the plot plan, here is the drawings, are you interested? You know, I, I, this is something I do actively all the time. Actually, a few minutes ago, as you were writing, I had to go out there and call, talk to a company in Mexico City. And uh, this company, actually what they did is a new concept where they take the leftover of many different brands like Armani, Tommy Hilfiger, Guess, and they create a store where they call it like bestseller items or something like this. And it has the leftover of all these other brands. So the store becomes like an outlet store, but for a bunch of companies. And they want to lease a space from me. I have in Puerto Rico these commercial retail spaces right where the cruise ships arrive. If you want to get in business, any business, real estate or whatever, what I'm trying to give you is a reason to get in business. And the only reason I know to get in business is if I have an unfair advantage. You with me on this? What's the unfair advantage? I got buildings right where the cruise ships arrive. That's an unfair advantage. Because it's not a mall that's going to cater to a three to five mile radius. That's a location that's going to have new customers all the time. Not the same customers in three to five mile radius. It's new customers every day coming off the cruise ship. When you go on a cruise ship, what do you do? You shop. When you go to an airport, what do you do? You become a shopaholic. You don't ever buy magazines. When do you buy magazines? You're going to take a flight. I'll buy a magazine. I'll also buy this. Uh, I'll also buy some Tic Tacs. You don't need that stuff. You become a shopaholic. In cruises, in cruise port, it's one of the best kept secrets. So, so when you want to do real estate, you want to have an unfair advantage. What is that? Group people together. Have relationships with brokers. Have some good contractors and, and architects to do it. Get, get an insight to get that 7-Eleven contract because you have one before. Get the contract. We're working on a deal with a hotel brand. Well, I know some people inside. So I'm talking to the people I know to give me an exception to do the deal because they don't want to approve for anybody unless there are people that have been with them growing. An unfair advantage is not an illegal or unethical advantage. It's just what it is. It's just a little leg up over the competition.